crafters it's Cynthia I am back today with a very simple little card video and um, let me get started by pulling out a card base here so of course this is an a2 card base four and a quarter by five and a half and this time it is a top folding card so um, I wanted to use some of the floral papers from that big stack of, I think it was like 180 sheets of paper in a big 12 by 12 pack. So this is just um, one little piece from that. And I really like the colors in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just attach this down to a simple black card base or piece of paper, I should say. And this piece is cut um, four inches by five and a quarter, and this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So it's just gonna give me a little bit of a black reveal around the edge. And then this panel will now go onto that card base I showed you. Well, that wasn't the most even job, but <laughs> I can always go through and um, just trim a tiny bit off of that card base if I want to. Um, so what started all of this this time around was this pretty little thing. And um, my mom had this in her stash. Let me get it for you. She picked it up at Tuesday morning, so she got a $30 set for $15, so that's pretty good. And it's another one of those Sizzik die and stamp combo packs. And I really, really liked um, the flowers in here. And it looks like this one's just called Leaves, but it's a really cute set. And um, I'm always borrowing <laughs> her stuff. So anyway, she was kind enough to let me use this. So I went ahead and used the solid stamp and I used my Memento Bamboo Leaves Green Ink. Um, so I stamped down the leaves in that. And um, I actually used a dark chocolate brown ink to do this stamping, which is of course the vine and the outlines. Um, and I could have used black, obviously, but for whatever reason, I grabbed my chocolate brown. And then I cut it out with this die here, which gave me the white reveal. And then I cut this larger frame piece in black. So I just attached those together. And knowing that this was framed in black is why I used the black for framing the floral piece. So I definitely wanted to use these two together. And then I was thinking, I just need a nice oval shape for the center. So one of the things that uh, I particularly love about my silhouette is that um, you can just make whatever you need in whatever size you need. So they actually have um, a tool in the software where you can make your own circles or ovals. And so I just I want a kind of a longer, thinner oval, and my die cuts are actually, um, they're still oval, but they are a little wide. So the longer my oval gets, the wider it gets. And um, I didn't want that. So I was able to just create my own. And then I found um, a scalloped circle, and I just stretched it a little bit so it was a little taller and a little narrower, and that it fit. So I basically just created all these matting layers um, based on just the size that I wanted. So it's another wonderful reason to get yourself some sort of a silhouette or a Cricut. Um, I've never used the Cricut, so um, I can't say exactly what that one is like, but I love my silhouette and you know, I didn't have to take a class on how to use it. It really is very straightforward. So if anybody wants me to make a video where I'm using my silhouette, that might be fun. 
there's plenty of people out there with silhouette videos but if you want me to show you how I can just make uh, something like this then leave a comment on this video and if I get enough requests I just may put together a silhouette video or two because before I purchased mine I actually went through YouTube and tried to look up all the silhouette videos I could find because um, you know it was a it was an investment piece you know I think I paid oh goodness maybe two no wait a minute I might have paid less than 200 for mine I'm not sure anyway it was still though a pretty expensive machine um, you know just if you look at it like a craft supply but um, it is so versatile so versatile okay so basically there are my layering pieces and then this purple paper is from that same paper pack and um, I just really liked it because it was just a subtle tone on tone but I really liked the color and I knew it was light enough where I could stamp on it so um, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and stick this down flat and I'm going to want it just a little bit higher, kind of in the middle, mostly in the middle, but just a little on the higher side. And then this pretty little sprig of leaves here is just going to sit across like that. And this one I do want to um, bump up on foam, but before I do that, I'm going to add my stamping. So I just chose this very simple thank you stamp. And this was just from another one of those Sizzix, um, Sizzix, excuse me, uh, stamp and die sets full of little simple sentiments. So just so I know the right spacing, I'll leave my, le my leaves laying there. Get my stamping done. Very cute. All right, and now I can go ahead and pop up those leaves. I, of course, always like to use plenty of foam because I can't stand it when I pop something up and it starts to sag. That bugs me. So I don't mind using a little extra foam. So I think that looks pretty cute right there. That attached. Oh, isn't that sweet? And then just for a finishing touch, which, you know, you could just stop here and no problem. Um, but I did have, I had purchased these iridescent bubble dots um, at the craft store. And I just happen to have the pretty purple and the nice blue, so there's blue there, and then some nice yellow ones. And um, I just really liked these. So I'm going to go ahead and just for fun, I'm going to add just a few sprinkled around. I'm not too worried about placement. Just three little gems for the heck of it. And there you go. Very simple, quick and easy thank you card. And like I said, um, I really wanted to use this. And then um, I'm always telling myself, you know, use your silhouette. You can get any shape you want. <laughs> so this is a great example of not um, having to have um, a bunch of different oval dies and a scalloped oval die and all that stuff. Um, so for 99 cents, I bought this scalloped cut file and then these were free because I just created them myself. So pretty good deal. Anyway, uh, take care of yourselves and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you are having fun crafting wherever you are. So I will see you all again very, very soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.